Luther versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. Spiders are nice against Hunter. I think one is enough though. Need a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. To deal with um, an animal companion, for example. I want to play Cockhammer next turn, and it's way better with this because I can deal 4 damage to something and then still taunt and heal it up. Against the Creeper, is this mid range? Like, then I should be afraid of. What's it called? Houndmaster? Hound uh, let's just play a few things here. Let's see how it turns out. If he played something stronger, could have run this in and then taunted and shielded back up. But kind of want the variety of different attack values here. Oh, that's pretty good for me. I have no, I'm in no rush to play the cock hammer because I'll. With this board, I always have a minion on the board, and I don't have to play off-curve. <clears throat> this might mean that, yeah, that probably implies that he has an explosive trap. Or maybe a uh, coin unleash then. Ah, I see. That's pretty good. was pretty nice. Hmm. You can clear my whole board. <laughs> wow. This was impressive. Stop juggling my minions and start juggling my face like normal jugglers do. <laughs> Everyone plays Finlay now, interesting. Seems to be. It doesn't seem to be Face Hunter then. This guy had six juggles and hit six times the face with it. It's far from being fair. <laughs> hmm. This doesn't really help. No six, no seven, and no eight. Wow. Hmm. Not sure what to go for. Eh. Why not? Might also like distract him. And even if I get like a 2 3 slime, might still have some value. I'm afraid of his late game because I don't have any so far. Looks like I won't even get a 2-3 slime. Oh, maybe I'll do ah, Boom, come out of my deck. Go, boom. Oh. Hm. That's nice. Too many weapons. I think I kept the cock hammer in my opening hand, right? Uh. Uh, I always forget when they play Finlay and I'm like, oh, you can't proc my... Really? No. 
No way. Haven't you played against Secret Paladin ever? What the hell? Get down! <laughs> Why would you ever do that? Actually, if I would have known, I could have played the competitive spirit last turn. Uh, this, yeah. Okay. This doesn't doesn't matter. I still have sacrifice and avenge. He still can proc it with this one though, or with these. Probably doesn't matter much. Thought about playing Cockhammer and force it on uh, the Challenger and kill a Lothip for three. And for free, the, pro the problem is I wouldn't have anything to follow it up. Like, I could have played True Silver. Yeah, great. Not another Unleash, please. Oh, that's one of the first turns where he doesn't have a beast on the board. Kinda sucks. And now he's out of cards and out of stuff. This deck seems a little bit weird, especially with Finlay. Even as a mid-range hunter, you usually want to put up some pressure. Um, 10, 14, almost. I was pretty afraid after he cleared my board with his juggler and leash. And then he traded in the king's alike into my noble sacrifice instead of using anything else really. <laughs> Best combo to play, but I might t I might want to take it. You can always like distract your opponent, and make him think it's noble sack or something. Ah, I double shredder. It's a little bit soon. <laughs> Probably better to play. One or both next turn. Coin Hellfire seems likely. I'll never tell. <laughs> so I will just bring these out of range. Two one mana Yetis next turn, maybe. Now I wish I would run a Divine Favor list. Hmm. It was an above average competitive spirit, I'd say. Um, so if he has Hellfire, then... And I trade with one of them. Then this will be big and eh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just get rid of this. Coin Belcher might be something too. I wonder. I wonder if I want to sacrifice my shredder then. Seems like a Reno handlock. I think I keep this as burst, even though 8, 15, 19. Ah. Like, if this survives, it 
basically deals the same amount of damage next turn as the true silver would do this turn then I still can put the plus four on it uh oh I've got the beast in my side. I keep my board as sticky as possible. Not sure, but. the same if I traded. And of course he had Reno. Oh, now you show up. Who am I? None of your ready. He shouldn't have a charger in the deck. I think I only have a Noble Sacrifice left now. This one would be nice. Yeah. So a siphon doesn't hit very badly. Shadow Flame is not too bad either. I have no time for games. This is kinda bad though. Hmm, never mind. For justice! This is like the first game where I really wish I would play a Divine Favor list. I had a lot of secrets early, uh, like both secret keepers. It's like the most aggressive start I could come up with a stack. And now I'm out of cards against a handlock with six or maybe seven cards. So Divine Favor would be awesome in this kind of, like this particular situation. Uh. Five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The battle. Would have been a few nice draws here. I don't think I need the damage right now. Who am I? None of your business. Reporting for duty. Weapon ready. I think I have to kill this. For justice. <laughs> I still have Reach with Ragnaros. And I still have a lot of big stuff, like Boom, Tyrion, and the like. Also, Keeper of Uldaman would be nice, so that I can deal with... Like, if I had Keeper earlier, I could have dealt with this Molten Giant pretty easily. Ah, come on. Kiss and Mystic? This is so last... Expansion. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, Tyrion. The battle. Glad he could join us. Get down. Put your faith in the light. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> He already played one coil. And he runs Reno, so he doesn't have two. So he might dark bomb this. Fine. Hmm. And siphon? And dark bomb? 
Seriously? I called exactly his hand. <laughs> wow. No. Where are my booms and Tyrians? What did I kill? I killed the Lothab. Yeah. Hmm. I probably would have gone in six damage for free, which would be huge at this point. If I didn't trade with his Lothab. Because he so most likely would have traded with my Lothab as well. Uh, with my with my challenger with his Lothab. Oh, great. I'll, oh, man, I'm at 13. Hmm. <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, let's see how we do this. Um. Happens, I guess. Um. Yeah, I need the spell to block twice. And I just need to find my Ragnaros. God damn it. Or my boom. Buying or selling. <laughs> Don't soul fire me or something. Or maybe Keeper of Ulderman. Actually, Keeper of Ulderman would have probably been my best top deck last turn. Oh god, and four? <laughs> this, is, this is so not fair. Great. How am I supposed to get rid of this board now? So, I can trade here, 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 and he just trades here, and I lose. Great. So, imagine if this was only two. I could deal with the small stuff and this would block this. Great. On the other hand, if I wouldn't have traded with my challenger, I probably could have killed him now. So. Mm, is there any way of coming? I need five damage, basically. I need to kill three imps and this one. Then he can't kill this and it's too bad. I only have one, two, three, four, four. Because his implosion hit for four, and I hate myself. Ugh, god damn it. Ah! <laughs> what a stupid game. So, Keep of Alderman, Blessing of Kings, Blessing of Kings, Dr. Boom, Ragnaros. Like five out of how many? Uh, ten. And he, of course, got Fugan and Stalag. And a toner for his stalag. He was top decking pretty nicely, actually. So, yeah. But I could have still won this, I think. If I didn't trade with my challenger. But he had exactly Owl, Siphon, and Dark Bomb. This was pretty huge. Ah, interesting game. I will fight with honor. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting start. Against Warix. Could be useful to get up some early pressure. Huh. Okay, let's do that. It's pretty cool. Maybe I pick up another secret. If not, I can play Creeper. That's not great against Warix either. Then I can muster, and then I can use the Keeper of Alderman on something mustered. My only problem is Acolyte next turn, but I can't play around this with these cards. Do I want to hit this? 
Not really. Not with a keeper in hand. Because he will trade into one of my guys anyways. Oh. Maybe not. But then I hit it next turn. Doesn't make a difference. Makes it easier to kill with the death rattle. Still needs to give him an incentive to use the death rattles up though, so I keep this up. Hmm. I drew these secrets right after my secret keeper died. Kinda unfortunate. Ouch. That's bad. <laughs> now I get all the cards I missed in the last game. Of course. <laughs> uh, and way too early also. So weird sometimes. Great. And he got another weapon. That's his third weapon out of ten cards. Jeez. Sometimes. Okay, now I need Mysterious Challenger, or at least Belcher. And Challenger would be nice. Even though both sacrifices are gone. No, look at that! It's neither. Ah, uh, shit. Punished. Now he plays Patron in Rage. No? Okay. Now he plays his own boom. And probably plays his own boom. Hmm. Shield block. Interesting. What? <laughs> what just happened? Maybe that's a worgen list with like charge and inner ages. Hmm. Hit for much. That's not much. That's average. Hmm. Well, one execute is gone, I guess. Let's see what I draw. Let's negotiate. You can see and I seems like a mid rangey control warrior then. As long as he doesn't find an execute. Maybe I shouldn't have. I, I just thought maybe I shouldn't have pressed the button because of Brawl. Yay! The f I think the first time for quite some time that my best minion survives a Brawl. Yay! <laughs> Revenge for the stupid handlock game.